Kauai Realty, and it's my first time to Agent Reboot. Um, broker on Kauai for many years, and now I'm Honolulu, and um, I'm liking some of the new apps that are on the agenda for today. Hi, I'm Joe Matsuoka. I'm with IDK Realty. I'm here at Agent Reboot because of the great apps that they have available that they're teaching us, and there's so much networking to be done. I think it's such a pleasure to be here. Hi, I'm Tina Mahina. I was invited by Century 21 to come to Agent Reboot, and it's been a fabulous morning. Lots of information jam-packed, especially all the apps. That's been my favorite, learning about all the new apps. So if you're an agent, you should come to Agent Reboot. Hey, I'm here at Agent Reboot 2012 in Honolulu, and this is the go-to event if you're a real estate agent and you want to be at the top of your technology and in front of your social media fans, this is the place that's going to show you how to do it. Highly recommend it. Hi, I'm Rick Nakama. Um, I'm at Agent Reboot Honolulu because I brought a whole bunch of people from my office east of Agent Realty, and they all are very excited about getting into this uh, social media technology tools, using the tools and things like that. Um, hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I'll see you on Twitter at Thank you. Hi, I'm Aloha Krauss of Prudential Orchid Isle Properties in Hilo, and I am loving Agent Reboot. I've taken home tons of tools to use in my business every day that will make me a greater agent and make my life so much easier. I can't wait to do it. I'm Brooke Derby. I came to Agent Reboot to connect with my online friends in real life, and I learned so many things and made new connections. Thank you. Aloha. Would you pay me a dollar for a value of click? If you understand how you're converting and you understand what a value of a click is, it opens the world up to you and how you can get traffic to your website. Because you just proved to me that you will give me $10 bills for 20 all day, right? They pop up automatically underneath on my drop down because it's a hyper social connection to me. If you were to search for Realtor, you're not going to get that. It's that relationship in Google Plus. So if you can think of some of the ways you could use this as a Realtor and the connections that you're making on the social network and permanently affecting your connections search results page, this can be extremely, extremely powerful. So think of it like this fly, right? We've seen flies trapped in the They bang into the glass time and time again. They don't understand that no matter how hard they hit the window, no matter how hard they fly into that glass, they're never going to break through. So the quantum leap happens when they finally discover there's another window in the room, and that window is wide open. So just a fraction of the effort is able to fly through the Think about the contrast there. Death on the windowsill, <laughs> opportunity to live and do what you want, right? Tiny change in behavior, monumentally huge result. So I want you to think about your business. Where are you banging your face in the glass? Where are you doing the same thing over and over and over again and hoping for a different result? Focus on that. It's those things that present the change that can really expand your level of opportunity. So if I went through your timeline and I saw this beautiful hat, you know, well done shot, your your photo is either professional or done well, there's a welcome tab, there's a Pinterest plugin, there's an email sign up. It's really important on a site that people wake up and go to every day for 22 minutes a day that you have everything filled out properly and that really includes the picture. The other thing I notice a lot is you, know, you engage with people on Facebook and they kind of pique your interest and then you lurk and you stalk them, right? And you click on their name and you go and you look at their wall. You see if there's any pictures of them at the beach, right? Am I the only one that does the only one. So, but the point is I do that a lot. I'll click on an agent's name and I'll look at their bio or their about. There's no email, there's no phone number, there's no link to their website, there's no link to any of their other social sites. So treat your Facebook timeline for your profile. Put as much thought and effort as you put into anything else you do with your website, etc. So number one. More people click on the photos of beautiful pictures of Hawaii than anything else. Um, I have pictures of people like their arms in the air in front of like Whitefield Valley and some of the other uh, landmarks. And uh, they get like you know, 50 likes. So taking pictures is so important if you want people to you know, keep coming back to your uh, fan page. Um, also post opinions. 
you know, don't just like the other say, don't put out salesy information. People want to know the real you, and they want to know if you have an opinion, go ahead and share it. Uh, that's really kind of like it shows your personality, and more people will come hear more about that. Because uh, those posts kind of show you that you're a real person. And also because you're talking about why it is a cool lifestyle, and people want to see what it's like to live on an island. Those posts and photos that show the lifestyle in this area are ones that keep bringing people back. So would you recommend that she, she we, did, we did recommend that she gets BrookDerby.com. What about other URLs? I mean, I know in the past we've talked about you know, microsites and things like that. Well, I, I think that as an agent, uh, there's, a, there's a natural migration path. You start as a new agent, you start to build out your website, and eventually you start to generate leads, you start to generate more leads than you can handle. And so there's this natural migration path that I think right now, Part of that path is identified, like you don't have a migration path to get larger. And, and so I see that as being a limitation in terms of the number of deals and things that you can do. And depending on what your goal is, if your goal is to you know, make a few hundred thousand a year, I think you're going to need your own personal brand. And you're going to need that site. You need to build that traffic. So I would say that that would be probably my number one thing. You know, WordPress, obviously, you've heard a lot about that. I would definitely think. And, and then you take that content that you're building, you, you've written uh, a number of blog posts on your own website, pull your Twitter feed in, you're doing, I mean, I don't know how many times you tweeted tweet today, but it was a, it was a few. It was a lot. Um, and, and, and you start to build that in, and now you can build your own personal site, and you start to just think about how that might build out over time. And it can get quite large. I mean, it's, you start your career here, but it can be like Dan Stewart was talking about, you know, literally, the world's always 